I want to prove to my sister Natalie that I never had sex with her low life husband Cameron. My wife's sister Mary, yeah, she's the one who wants me. I absolutely despise Cameron. You can pick up on signs when somebody's just trying to gain your attention. So I went to Natalie's house and thought she was already home. I had sat down on the couch and complained about my back hurting, six months pregnant. My wife was at work. She came in while I was sleeping. I worked third shift. And he offered me a back rub and I told him no. She asked for me to rub her back. It was awkward, but I did it, just trying to be a good brother-in-law, I guess. He offered for me to sleep in his bed. I also said no. And then she asked to use the shower as well, and then asked for me to button her bra, too. That was, that was awkward, but I still I did so. The idea of Cameron touching me is completely disgusting. So that's not signs of somebody wanting somebody. Like, I don't know what is. I told him no, and I left. And I didn't tell anybody about that. And the next thing I know, Mary's telling Natalie how I'm the one uh, pursuing the back rub. I'm the one trying to come in the bathroom with her while she's showering. Like I wanted to have sex with her or something. I didn't say anything because I didn't want my sister to think that something more had went on. A Couple months down the road, my sister wanted to leave him and Whenever he found out, he thought it was because I told my sister. And then he ended up saying that we had sex or something, and um, none of it's true. And now Mary's saying that I'm still trying to pursue her on social media with some fake accounts, and that is not true. He pretended he was messaging me on social media, so my sister thought me and him had something going on once again. Mary's not the only problem in my marriage. My marriage is crap. The only guilty person here is Natalie. She's the one who had sex with my husband, Tyler. And now Mary's saying that my wife, Natalie, hooked up with her husband, and I believe it. I've been together with Tyler on and off for 10 years, and we have two kids together. Well, one day I found messages between my ex-husband and Natalie, my sister, saying that he ended up staying the night. I ain't the first person she has slept with, man or woman. She's just jealous. She's jealous and she wants what I have. She's always wanting what I have because she has, she don't have a thing out there. She has a low life husband and it's exactly what she has. I've made mistakes and I know that. I'm not perfect, but my wife has even had sex with my own sister. I know she had sex with my husband because she is the type of person that would do that. I've seen it multiple times. I even think that my wife's even cheated with my older brother. My son looks almost just like him and now I'm even questioning my, my two youngest kids. When I see my sister Natalie, I am just hurt. I'm just, I've been hurting for years. And I just keep asking myself how somebody so close to me, my own blood sister, could do this to her little sister. I want Natalie to know I've never slept with anyone in her family. And the only people I've slept with is the people I've told her. I took a lie detector test to prove that I never slept with her husband, that I never had done anything, kissed, touched, nothing, nothing with that man. I took a lie detector test today to prove that I didn't have sex with my wife's sister and a DNA test to see if my children are actually mine or not. She can kiss my ass. Now, I want Natalie to know she can kiss my ass. That's what I want her to know. She can kiss my ass. One cheek for both of them, honestly. I want my wife to know that I've always loved her. I would love for us to be able to move past this. She is just trash, complete trash. She's a home-wrecking, foul human being. First of all, I want to say, we're going to dedicate this show to Jerry Springer. <laughs> So, Natalie, um, you know, really confusing. I mean, everybody's accused of sleeping with everybody. Yes. What is going on? Uh, my husband's been accusing me for a while about sleeping with his sister and his brother and everybody. And you're 
uh, sister thinks you slept with her ex-husband. Yes, and I did not. For None of these thing. people, you didn't have sex with them? None. I only did one thing with one of them. Which one? His sister. I kissed his sister. That was it. A French kiss? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that a little awkward or? No, because of what uh, he did with my sister. It was after I got told what about What did he do with two. your sister? He... Can I talk about her? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just a little confused. Uh, my yeah. sister had came over to my house oh, while I was at work. Oh, and he helped her unbutton the bra. Us girls, we know how to do that without anybody's help. And then starts rubbing her back. How is your relationship with your sister? We used to be best friends, not now. She's the disgusting one, she's the tramp. Now she denies having sex with your husband. And she can deny it all she wants to. I know what she does. She comes over to my house, wears little shorts, bends over in front of him. She comes over to my house, she drives three hours to get to my house and doesn't even talk to me. She talks to my husband the whole time. And then she thinks that you slept with her ex-husband. No, never. never. Never, not even a kiss? It disgusts me. Like, I'm a mom before I'm anything, and I would never stoop that low to do that. Now, we have the text of him saying he wanted to kiss your lips. And I ignored that message, and I responded yes to the message about him coming over for uh, his children and my children play together. You know, never would I ever touch him now, he's also accused you of doing what with his brother? Uh, he accuses me of sleeping with his brother and his sister. Yeah. And he thinks I had a baby with one of his brothers. Because he says, uh, my son looks like his brother, but his brother and him look just like each other. <laughs> How long have you been married? Uh, eight and a half years. We've been together for 10. And uh, how many children? We have four together and two that I had before me and him. So six kids. Six kids and four with him. Yes. Or three with him and one for his brother, possibly. <laughs> so he says. Uh, have you ever cheated on him? Yes. How many times? Once with a man and then two women. And that's when he went to rehab and he cheated <laughs> on me with two women and I slept with one guy and then slept with two women because he did it to me and I wanted him to feel how I felt. What stops you from getting divorced? I have divorce papers. I've had them for two years now. Been hoping he would change. I've been holding on to the family that I have, my kids. Like, I want my kids to have a mom and a dad. Okay, you're accused of sleeping with your sister's ex-husband, your husband's brother, and your husband's sister. Am I missing anybody here? And anybody I look at. Yeah. All right, well, let's meet your sister, Mary. I hate you, bitch. How the are you gonna call me the tramp, bitch? You are How the are you gonna You're call the me the tramp? Put your messaging out of my house. When I pass this test, guess what? You can kiss oh, my no. feet. You're the there. one that did that's it. Why you came to my house. It. That's why your man you wants it. That's why your man wants it. Body got it. You, you came to my house. Me. Huh? Did you have sex with Cameron? No, I did not. Okay. What's Put this? that on my dead okay. great grandma on my give, kids. Did he give you a back rub? No. I don't know why he even says that. Okay. He offered he me the back rub, and then I left. You didn't take a shower. And then I left. I took a shower. I did take a shower. Did he come That's, in and that help was, you It's put not the same bra? day, though. Did he help you put your bra on? He did put my bra I had my pajama pants on. I had a towel wrapped around myself. I was six, seven months pregnant, and I asked him to come clip my bra while he was still outside of the door, fully covered up, and then his ass went on. I was literally as big as a house, how small I am, and okay. I was literally six Hey, what do us girls pregnant. do when we can't button our bra? We, uh, hey, somebody. and then we, hey, where'd your okay. ass <laughs> I gave you that back rub, but you left though. You, you didn't even say they nothing didn't about the shower that you took. I, I was asleep. I worked through shit, me but yet if I you, asked you come back in on my house. Though. Give me one. He would not give come it on, to bro. Me if I had nothing about mess and stuff, maybe we wouldn't have even made it this far. Whatever. Because there's so many holes in both of y'all. Like, I was... Natalie, what do you want to say to your husband? I really hope you did not do this. Um, 
there's a lot of things you're accusing back and me and of and that's, been accusing me of for years now that I did not do at all. I didn't know I've that. I've never I didn't touched. know about him wanting to kiss you. I've never we, touched. We, I seen him at a family re for I, the 4th of July, bro. I actually I forgot about the kiss. wouldn't even have been there. there. What do you mean? It would have been there to fight for it. Even, and that's you it. can do that, It wasn't yeah. even like that at all. She did come over. Your sister-in-law came over. Mm -hmm. And uh, you gave her a little back rub? Uh, yes, sir. Did you use oil? No. <laughs> it was through her shirt. It was through her shirt. Okay. It wasn't no, like, intimate. She then effort. said, I need to take a shower. Uh, yeah. And she went and took a shower? Yeah. And then she said, hey, help me put my bra on? <laughs> yeah. When and every girl puts it on and then turns yeah. it around. But, and... what, so what did you do? I, uh, I, uh, buttoned her bra. That was it. Did you Ooh. have sex with her? No, I didn't. Oh, nice. okay. Mary, uh, you're up first. Yes. Uh, and we asked you, did you at any time mm -hmm. engaged in mm -hmm. sexual intercourse with Cameron? Mm -hmm. uh, she answered no. Mm -hmm. Did you at any time engage in physical sexual contact with Cameron? Mm -hmm. You answered no. Your results came back the same. Please to each do. question, it came back that Mary told the truth. Dumb bitch, that knocks out the back row. Dumbass. Cameron took a lot of time to test. You haven't really slept with 17 guys this year, have you? Yeah, she has. I've been with the same man since I was 13 years old and only dated one Along other than that. Along with every other Tom, and Dick, and He was grown, too. Say his oh, age you while you were wish. 13. Did oh, you yeah. ever have sex on the course with your wife's sister, Mary? No. You answered no. Besides the back rub, did you ever engage in any physical sexual contact with your wife's sister? No. Mary, you answered no. During your marriage, besides the woman Natalie knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? Uh, you answered no. During your marriage, besides the woman Natalie knows about, have you engaged in any physical sexual contact with any other woman? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Cameron told the truth. Uh, you took a DNA test, and Cameron, the results of that DNA test is that you are the father, are the father of Natalie's 18th <laughs> birthday. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> oh, six-year-old child. Man. Mm. I thought we were only that questioning was the one. In, uh, that's the one. That's the I've one he thinks is his brother about. right there. That's the one I'm oh, worried Oh, that's the about. brother's child. I can yeah. It don't look like him, my... does it? <laughs> I've never even seen a brother. I know that's a brother's child. Mm-hmm. All right, you, Cameron, you took a DNA test. And uh, concerning the six-year-old, Natalie's six-year-old son, you are the father. <laughs> Natalie Kamer took a lie detector test, and uh, Natalie admitted that she sexually kissed her husband's sister and fondled each other over their clothes. Uh, fondling? No. You Maybe. never said right. that. <laughs> <laughs> then we go on to give her a lie detector test, and we asked her, Listen. have you ever had sexual intercourse with Tyler, your sister's husband? Mm -hmm. She answered no. Have you ever had physical sexual contact with Tyler, your sister's husband? She answered no. To those two questions, Natalie told the truth. Did you ever engage in sexual intercourse with Cameron's sister? You answered no. During your marriage, other than the one man he knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? You answered no. During your marriage, other than the one man he knows about, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man? Uh, you answered no. And results for those three questions came back uh, that Natalie told the truth. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, Thank boys you. and girls. Damn. Okay. Will you, Cameron, backstage my wife is giving me a rundown like what's gonna happen. And I'm reading like, you might have slept with his brother, had a child with his brother, slept with the sister. You might have slept with her uh, ex-husband. She might have slept with Cameron. I'm like, man, <laughs> this is a juicy story. <laughs> This is, like I said, this is like 1998, Jerry Springer at its height. I love story, Jerry Springer. Right? Oh, we all love Jerry. Okay? And, and I'm thinking, oh, man, this is like a throwback show, right? And you guys are boring hillbillies, man. <laughs> You're boring. Do you want to stay in this marriage? Yeah, I do. But I just don't like being ripped apart, man. I can't like, deal with no more accusations and, waves. and all the name calling. Be... How often are you happy in this marriage? For like an 80, 20. Yeah. Unhappy? Yeah. 
That's about real. You, it's 80 20? Yeah. Well, Maybe. then you should sign those papers. Nobody should go through life 80% unhappy in a marriage. And if that's true, you need to do I, something else. I would be else. better Good luck if he to would you. stop.